Hello, my name is Jonathan Davis. I am the co-owner of Pearly Baker's Ale House in downtown Easton, and this is the premiere episode of our Backyard Garden series. What we plan to do during these episodes is demonstrate how you can take some backyard vegetables out of your own gardens and incorporate them into everyday meals, whether you're cooking for family or friends. This morning, I'm starting with some nice spring green onions, some sweet fennel, and lastly, some purple kale. Some interesting items. Chef Peter's gonna take over from here. Enjoy. Hello, today we're gonna to be turning these beautiful garden vegetables into a stuffed chicken breast with the kale and some goat cheese. And then it's gonna be topped off with some spring onion, tomato, and fennel pan sauce. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is I've already wilted off the kale with some uh, garlic and some shallots. J just to save some time, we're gonna add that to a bowl. From there, we're gonna take some of our goat cheese. We're gonna add that in. We're also gonna add a little bit of breadcrumb, just so it helps bind it together, and we're gonna add an egg. From there, we're just gonna kind of fold this all together, mash it together, mix it up, and that's just gonna form our chicken stuffing. It's gonna be a little loose, it'll tighten up, that egg's gonna really help hold everything together, make it not leak out of your chicken. Okay, so that's basically what our stuffing's gonna look like. We wanna add just a little bit of salt in there, help season the inside of the chicken. From here, I have our chicken breast. We're using an organic chicken breast out of Lancaster County. Um, I already removed the skin and I butterflied it out. From there, we're just gonna take some of our stuffing, place some of it in the center, and we're gonna try and roll it as tightly as you can just so none of it comes out. Then we're gonna take that skin so we get a nice crispy outside. And if you're health conscious and you don't wanna use the skin, you could always flour the chicken a little bit, whichever works best for you. Once it's all wrapped up in that skin, you're just gonna take either some butcher tine and tie it up, or you can take a skewer and you're just gonna kinda of hold it together with the skewer. And that's the first step of our stuffed chicken breast with kale and goat cheese. Okay, from here now we have our chicken. It's all stuffed, it's all rolled. Our pan's nice and hot. We got some oil in there. From here, we're just gonna take our chicken and we're gonna gently place it in the pan. We're gonna start getting some color on that chicken. And from there, we're gonna place it in the oven just so it cooks through. We make sure the stuffing's nice and hot. We're gonna just start letting that sear. We're gonna flip it, we're gonna place it in the oven. Now we're gonna start on our pan sauce. We got another pan, nice and hot. We're gonna add our tomatoes first. We're gonna make sure those kind of get a little bit blistered and wilted down just a little bit. Then from there, we're gonna add some shallots and a little bit of garlic. Now, once you get the shallots and garlic in there, you wanna move them. You don't really wanna get a lot of color on them. It's gonna make your sauce bitter. Then from there, you wanna add a little bit of white wine. Just to glaze your pan, kind of start letting it reduce down. You can take a spoon and you're gonna break up those tomatoes just a little bit. Just pull out some of that natural goodness. From there, once you start getting some color and some reduction on everything, it's a little salt, a little pepper. And we're gonna add our green onions and our fennel. We always wanna add those towards the end because we wanna make sure they stay nice and green and they're nice and fresh. So that way, it just wilts them down a little bit to make them nice and draw out that flavor and fuse it in the wine. But we don't wanna turn them like that uh, army green color. We wanna keep them nice and fresh. And from there, you're just gonna let this go down. It's a nice, light, fresh sauce, very healthy. Uh, from here, we're gonna take our chicken. We're gonna flip it over. We're starting to get a little bit of color on there. And we're just gonna place it into an oven. The oven set at about 500 degrees. We'll drop that down after it starts to get a nice color and starts to almost cook through. That way we don't dry it out. Okay, our chickens come out of the oven. It's rested. I've just sliced it out into three pieces. You can leave it whole, you can slice it however you'd like. You know, be playful with it. Food doesn't have to be so uniform. We're just gonna take it now. We're gonna plate it onto our plate. You can serve this with mashed potatoes, 
roasted potatoes, however you'd like. And we're just gonna drizzle over top, as you can see, the nice chicken. We're gonna drizzle over top our nice pan sauce. It's nice and thick, add a lot of flavor to that chicken. And there you have it, the kale and goat cheese stuffed chicken breast with our uh, fennel tomato pan sauce. Enjoy.